Hey everybody and welcome to a Minecraft tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make an awesome PvP trap. This is great for factions and all sorts of other things because it's really useful for pretty much gathering items, diamonds, whatever you want. Whatever's in a person's inventory. So basically, what we're going to need is um, a redstone chest, also known as a trap chest. We're going to need a redstone torch grass block or any other kind of block um, we're gonna need a sticky piston or actually a few um, we're going to need redstone repeaters and redstone and one other thing that I forgot is we're going to need hoppers and just like regular chests or whatever so um, yeah first we're gonna start off by digging a hole in the ground and this hole is going to be um, let's see here I'll make this a little bit bigger Alright, this hole is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 by 4, okay? Um, and you can obviously make this bigger, you're supposed to be making this bigger, but whatever, I'm just going to make it like this because it's the most simple version. Um, now I'm going to be taking um, whatever it is, like shovel, if you're not in creative, I'm just going to dig a hole in the ground. This can go as deep as you want, but since I'm in super flat creative, I can't go below this. Um, so yeah, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to be digging, um, all around it, and just making sure that I have, like, room for redstone. And you can really play around with this, because depending on which position this is in and where it is, like, you could build it into the side of a mountain or something, um, you'll have to like improvise how this actually looks um, and you should be building this like one layer like one block actually below the ground just to make sure you can hide all of the um, redstoning and stuff like that so now what you're going to do is you're going to put your um, blocks onto the sticky pistons and take your trap chest and build it up right here Okay. Um, now what you're going to be doing is you're going to be making a space behind the chest just to make sure that um, you have room for redstone behind there because you're going to need it. Um, now what you're going to do is, I'm just going to actually clear this up. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take repeaters like so and you're not going to fiddle with them or anything. And then you're going to take more redstone, put it like so. Now what you're going to be doing is you're going to take... Um, your blocks and put them kind of like this or you could literally just you know put them to the side right here um, so now what we want to be doing is we want to put a torch right on the end of these blocks here and um, I'm going to be taking the redstone just attaching them and now we're going to be needing two redstone currents so I'm just going to oh god I'm just gonna do something here so I'm just gonna fix this up real quick but it all depends on like the positioning of like the whole I wanna say like circuit but you know just like where you're building it all depends on that so as you can see this turns on the um, the pistons and that's what you want just to kind of um, you know help with keeping it together because that's what you need you need it to be together and then when you open the chest basically the goal is to do that and move the you know the little pistons back so um, we're just gonna hook up the redstone the exact same way as before and now as you can see it's all open okay and the ground is closed so when you, somebody goes to open the chest they fall through and they get trapped and normally you would make a really big pit and at the end put like hoppers and stuff above chests so that you can collect their items um, and this will work if you claim it so yeah and then after you can just you know like cover everything up with your blocks or whatever make it look natural um, lots of people will already kind of know what this does because this is used a lot in factions and stuff but it is super useful so that's why um, and you want to make it way longer than this because you want to make it long enough so that they can't just like interact you know in front of the thing so 
that's pretty much how you do that. And then to cover it up, what you want to do is you want to build it into the side of the mountain because that normally helps with um, just like hiding most of it because the redstone is really wide and it takes up a large portion of the land and so you want to make sure that you dig it into the ground so that um, it looks absolutely flawless. So I'm just going to go ahead and cover all this up and then I'll show you what it looks like at the end. Okay, so there, I made it look kind of a little bit more natural. The only downside is you could kind of see the redstone at the back. So, um, you could play with this as much as you want. Um, but this is what it'll end up eventually looking like. So, that's pretty... I think it's pretty good because it's tricked me a bunch of times. So, at the end, they just open it, it falls down. And how that works is, um... When you have, like, like this, this chest, it works as, um... Like... A source of power for the redstone so this is what happens when you have a torch and um, right there and then you have a source of power going to the torch it turns it off so by like opening the chest it makes power that goes to the torch that's already on which turns it off but which turns off the pistons which opens the floor and lets you fall through. So that's pretty much how that works. It's super simple and anybody can do it. So thanks for watching. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe. And always um, come back for more videos. So thanks for watching, guys.